Hi, Brett. Hello, Annie. Now, I believe that you're right bang in the middle of rehearsals for the St John Passion. We are. We had, um, we had a chamber singers rehearsal last night, so that's a small choir. Mm -hmm. And then tonight we deal with the larger chorus, which is the symphony chorus. And uh, that's interesting because one of the things we're doing this year is splitting the work into two different chorus sizes. It's interesting from the chorister's point of view as well because they will get different sides of the, the story to reflect upon. Um, so not any one person yet until we actually put it all together with the evangelists and the other soloists and the, and the orchestra. We'll get a chance to know what the entire piece will feel like. So that's very exciting from the point of view of preparing this work for, gosh, the third or fourth time. Is that right, the mm. third or fourth time? So why this year for Philharmonia? Do why this year? Um, we haven't done St John for about four or five years. I think it's very important that we do this music at Easter. I think of all the pieces we perform throughout the course of the year, none is more pivotal to the time it is performed. Originally performed, as you know, in Leipzig in 1724, at the end of Bach's first year there as the new cantor at um, the St Thomas Kirche. And at the end of what must have been an extraordinary year, yeah, his first lovely. year of mm. church cantatas, Mm. specifically written for Leipzig, of which the St John Passion is very much the jewel in the crown. And then of course you have the soloists, who are like people who do stand up in the middle of the crowd and go, well this is how it affected me. Um, so they're the, they're the, you know, the reporter has stopped somebody at the Boston bombings and mm. said, what did you see? Yes. And that person tells them what you see, but actually at the same time, this is actually how it affected me, and I will never be the same again. I think it's just such good news for Sydney that we mm. have that we're to be treated to this at Easter. With because a fantastic yes, array of songs. Yes, it is. And well. yeah, is that right? Mm. Would you like to speak about this? Well, look, um, again, the evangelist is a very special role in the entire history of music. Um, we have this is Matthew, and we have the St John. They require somebody who is a, just an ex excellent storyteller, but at the same time stays within the confines of their role, which is as a storyteller. Paul McMahon, who is, who is really a specialist yes. when it comes to this, and you have to be. Mm. Um, you know, we all love Puccini and Mozart and Handel, but even Handel is a very different beast to this bark. You know, I think in modern performances now, we are drawn to the dilemma of Pilate. He, he knows this man is innocent, but at the end of the day, he actually has to crucify him. He has to yes. rid himself. And I'm afraid we could sit here and, mm. you know, turning the radio on on my way to this interview, there are a whole lot of stories on the news that exactly. made me think that's exactly yes. what's happening here yes. and now from yes. asylum seekers through to things in America. I think if I were listening to it for the first time and I, I had the text there, I think all sorts of things would open up to me because of course, again, Bach would probably be shocked that we're doing it in German, in Sydney, in the 21st century. The whole point was to like do it. you like our opera house? I'm sure he would. <laughs> I, um, he would I like it. Uh, <laughs> in fact, it's, it's amazing. I mean, the, the wonderful thing is after performing all around the world, when you come back here, you just realise how fantastic a space it is. Um, well, that's good to hear. But look, you know, I think Bach wrote this piece for the language of the people who were consuming it. Um, and so we, we are at a bit of a disadvantage. But that's not to say that the jewels that are contained within this are not worth trying to reach for. Um, so I th it's obviously a piece that I have taken many years to come to grips with, but my life would be the poorer and if I hadn't. So to somebody who's coming for the first time, you may not get it all the first time, mm. but it is the start of a journey uh, with this piece that will last the rest of your lifetime. Well, I think that's probably a lovely way to end. So thank you, Brett, very you, much. Annie. And uh, it's just been wonderful to hear you speaking with such passion about this work. I love it too. I'm very passionate about it. And um, I do urge everybody, please, do come along. And uh, I think the tickets can be, if you go to the Philharmonia website, is that Indeed. correct? Which yep. is, uh, website is sydneyphilharmonia.com.au and book your tickets. And we'll very much look forward to seeing you. Lovely, thank you, Annie. Thank you.